John here. Big Drew with Titan Medical. We're here for some more tips and tricks to get you better results and to live a longer, healthier life. That's right, guys. One of the first things I like to do, if you've seen any of my videos, you always see me mention working out in the heat. I love the heat, not just the way it feels. Keeping your body thermogenic makes your body burn calories more, and plus it's easier on your joints. Now combine that with the vitamin D, now I'm getting a nice tan, my skin's tighter, and I'm feeling a lot better too because I can breathe a lot better outside. I love to work out outside, and again, you gotta make sure you're drinking your water while you're doing it. The outdoor activity is key, like you said. You're breathing in that fresh air, you're going to different places, like you know, right now we're at the beach, and you can do a number of different things at the beach, and we can show you some of those exercises at the end, but you're just taking a walk, you're taking in nature, you're taking in fresh air, and you know, it's great to work out in gyms, but it's great to work out outdoors. Like I said, you can yeah. get cardio, you can walk outside, whatever it is, but please be active, please get outside, and that's just one of the tips and tricks. Always one, and the first thing is you, is you gotta drink that water, you yeah. crack open the water, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Another thing too, as you guys see me mention in my past videos, start drinking your water before you go outside. Don't wait till you get outside and start chugging it too late by then. Hydrate your body before you go outside. Yep. But again, working out outside on the sand is very good. Uneasy, being uneasy to, to stabilize your foot yep. helps all those fast twitch muscles in, yep. your, in your legs. And helps your abs too, yeah. yeah Just walking on the beach alone, that uneasy feeling of having to stabilize yep. yourself, kind of like walking in the snow if you're from up north. That's right. Definitely helps your abs. So even squatting, lunges on the beach, you guys seen the movie Rocky IV where he's running in the snow? Yep. Having to run through that, the sand is the same thing. If you can find any type yeah, of deep, awesome. uneven sand, it helps great. Good for yeah. your calves, too. Absolutely. Push-ups, using benches, which we'll show you, and all the different things that you might have at your disposal at your local beach or park, wherever you're going to go, because you might not always have the beach where you're at. So you've got to get creative and think about what's around you and utilize that. That's another tip and trick. And with the water, you definitely want to start your day off by drinking a glass of water. First thing in the morning to get your system flowing and get that in there. Like me and Drew said in the past, your body's over 70% water in everything from blood and organs and all that. So water is definitely the healthiest choice you can choose from the, yeah. the beginning of your day. And that's again, just like what he said, first thing in the morning, room temperature water. Yeah. Studies have shown that's the best time. Yeah. Keep a bottle of room temperature uh, by your nightstand. So yeah. first thing you wake up, drink at least half of that on an empty stomach, room yeah. temperature, first thing in the morning. Yeah. It kind of sets your body up to get ready for the day. Absolutely. And another tip and trick. So this one is, is you know, kind of thinking out of the box or I mean it's pretty simple to be honest with you you want to do things that are gonna relax you and de-stress you like activities like hanging out with your family and friends at the beach or somewhere fun where there's no stress around you guys you guys can have some good clean fun activity it's a de-stressor that's healthier for the body uh, you want to lower cortisol levels which you know that's that's fear and, and anxiety that's the best way to do it be around the people that you love and people that are important to you especially on maybe big weekends or holidays especially yeah, just that euphoric feeling when you go outside and yeah. the air and, and just the atmosphere. I mean, when you go to the when you go to the beach and you go to the pools, you'll mingle with people that you normally wouldn't chat with. Yes. You see people from other areas. You know what's it's that sun, that vitamin D bring out yeah. that positive energy. Yeah. You go up north in the cold, it's kinda of everyone's bitter and mad <laughs> trying to get to going where they're going. Oh, God. You come it's down so here, you'll meet a guy from Vermont, you'll meet a guy from California, this guy's from England. Everybody's just kinda of mingling at the pool because everybody's just vibing in that good mood. Yeah. It just puts your body in a good mood, the vitamin D in the air and everything. Yeah. You guys ever been sick for a couple weeks and all of a sudden, as soon as you get outside the house, you start feeling better? Oh, yeah. That's the feeling that we're talking yeah. about. And that's why I love being out here. But you know, sun is, you know, I mean, it's a fact that it helps everything grow, like plants. We're, we're like them. We need the sunlight. We need it to live a good, healthier life. And that's what it's all about, living a healthy lifestyle, too. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're eating good, as clean as possible, non-processed foods like we talked about. You're getting plenty of water like we just talked about. And your diet, your nutritional plan of whatever you're gonna have it be yeah. needs to be on point. You wanna eat way. like a dog. Yeah. Pretty much you wanna eat like a dog. I saw someone mention this. I don't know who it was. Maybe this guy named Mad Dog, he's a trainer. Like I think a it was dog. him. Yeah, he pretty <laughs> much says you need to eat like a dog. Uh -huh. You need to eat a scheduled portion oh. size amount at okay. the same time every day. Okay. You need to eat the same foods every day. If you look gotcha. at a dog, they eat the That's same they eat, like say if they eat, I don't know, pedigree, dog yeah. food, they eat the, the, the green label. Yeah. They eat that same green label pedigree yeah. dog food their whole life. Yeah. Every day they at the same time, they eat the same portion of the mouth, they're drinking the same type of water. Yeah. You need, if once you decide to eat like a dog, that scheduled approach, yeah. that's when everything gets normal. Your, your 
digestive tracts, everything's good, your skin, your hair, everything's good because you're consistent. You ever feed a dog a piece of food it's not used to? Right. As soon as it has that food, it uses the bathroom and it's a right. mess because it's not used to it. Right. Our bodies are the same way. Right. So if we're constantly putting food into our body that's not used to, right. our stomachs never never can really get set in that consistent this place. True. So you want to eat like a dog, obviously not dog food, right. but the same type of food every day and the same type of watering right. every day throughout the day. And honestly, I mean, that that's my, my, my plan and I, I stuck with it and it's got me amazing results along with my Titan therapy. So, you know, with that, you know, I like to eat like that. A it's lot of people plain. might. Yeah, Real I'm plain. plain. I'm plain. Yeah. And, you know, that's how I like it. But a lot of people don't. So, I mean, you can add some variety in there, but don't go too far out of the box, you know, because you're going to get off path and your body's not going to be used to it and you already know what works or is working for you. So stay on that path to get the better results that you're looking for. Um, the next thing is activity. We've covered the number of different workouts that we've talked about. It doesn't have to be doing the workouts. It could be walking the beach, like we said. Right. You know, just being out here, going in the water. So you're gonna go in salt water. A lot of people get an Epsom salt bath yeah. when they're injured or they're sore and stuff like that. The, the salt water is a natural healer too as well. So it, I was telling my son earlier, it's a part of nature. So you're, you're actually, you know, being one with nature too at that point too, it's a good feeling. Um, it's kind of like, you know, basically, you meditating to a, a yeah. certain expense, you know? I mean, I always think about myself on the beach and meditation is a good thing. Just closing your eyes and picturing yourself somewhere is gonna bring down those stress levels as well. And you can use the beach or the pool or wherever you're at because yeah. that's that's just as good. And my, my son asked, why can't we just go to the pool? Now, we always love to go to the pool, yeah. right? And I don't like to get sandy either all that much anymore. But being in the salt water is gonna be better than being in the chemical pool too. Right. It's, it's healthier for your skin and all that. Or if you go in the pool, once you're in the pool, if you have access to a beach, yeah. run across the beach and just jump in the salt oh, water. So Use that water to rinse off. Natural antioxidant, natural, yeah. you know. Yeah. And plus, if you're shaving your skin, or if you have any type right. of acne problems, that salt dries everything out. Yep. Then once you come back in the sun, yep. it just tightens everything it's up. Like so just use the use the ocean yeah, as like a awesome. natural rinse off if yeah. you have one available for the pool. Absolutely. Or if not, use those little shower things. A lot of people don't use those. Or saline a lot water. Of, yeah, a lot of people thing, go to the yeah, pool or the jacuzzi is. and they'll just walk right past that little shower yeah. thing. You're already wet anyways. You already have your shirt. Just step underneath real quick and rinse yeah. off, and then go do yeah. what you have to do. Because yeah. that stuff's sitting on your skin. Yeah. A lot of times people are so hot they want to get inside so bad. Yeah. They run inside. Now you have salt. You have sweat sitting on your skin. You yeah. have chlorine sitting in your skin. Yeah. And then you might go another four or five hours before you shower, just yeah. marinating yeah. in there. It's drying out thing. too as well. Really bad. Thing. Too much. And the last one um, is sleep. So sleep is, is essential for you to think better, for you to perform better, to you to gain muscle or recover from whatever injury or maybe you train. That is going to help you. And it's going to help you out for the next day for brain power too as well. So if you're taking a vacation or you're going down to the beach maybe one weekend out of the couple months or whatever it is, try to open your door a little bit, hear the waves crashing to give you a nice relaxed feeling so you can fall asleep and stay asleep so you can get that good sleep and that recharging recovery sleep. Yeah. You know, And if you're not by a beach, you can get a tape or a CD or your MP3 or whatever it is or whatever MP4 is these mm -hmm. days and you can put that in your ear and just listen to that and yeah. go to sleep too as well. Yeah. What do you think, Drew? Sound, sounds good to me. I mean, sleep is very, very important. Also, too, if you guys are traveling, yeah. a lot of times people get so caught up traveling. We need to pack this. We need to leave at this time. We need to check into the hotel. Make sure we have this. They do so much packing. Once they get there, they do so much unpacking. They don't have a chance to sit back and rewind. So if you go on a, on a vacation, if you can get there a day early, yeah. just to get settled in that That's day. Nice. I do so that. that way, that way you're not tired the whole time. Because yeah. if you're spending money, you want to actually enjoy yourself. So you're not going to go all this way and as soon as you check in, go right to bed. Yep. So what do you do? As soon as you get there, okay, let me just you know, take my ECA and drink a coffee and just get, get right to going what I have to do. Get there a day early. That's what I do if I'm competing for a show. Yeah. That's what I like to do when I travel. Get yeah. there a day early. That way I can marinate, true. get used to everything, and then enjoy myself as opposed Absolutely. to as soon as I get there, go, 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 and then you leave. Decompress. Yeah, and you got bags stress. underneath your eyes yeah. two days later. You're like, oh, I'm on vacation. I have to do it. I have to have fun. And you can never <laughs> catch up till you get back home. It's true. So yeah. use these tips and tricks to your advantage. A little serenity might help. Yeah. But yeah, serenity will definitely help. That's a therapy we offer. But use this for your health, your quality of life, to live better, feel better, perform better, and just overall feel generally healthier. I mean, you will feel healthier, and that's a great feeling too. So uh, we're here at the beach. We're going to take advantage of this beach, me and Drew. Oh, yeah. We're going to go hit this salt water real quick and relax. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah, we're going to hit some push-ups, some dips, some water, some pool, some sun, some fun. The oh, tight yeah. way, the tight lifestyle way. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks from me and Big Drew. We love you guys. Stay Thank hydrated. you. And definitely stay hydrated, guys.